Good morning everyone, I'm Shane Sharchan here with another health supplement tip for the day. Some of you may have seen my weight loss videos on how to use apple cider vinegar uh, for weight loss and coconut oil for weight loss. And with that said, a lot of people ask me the question, should I use apple cider vinegar? Should I use coconut oil, which is better, or should I use both together? It's entirely up to you. You can use both together, but here's the problem. If you use both together, you will be taking vinegars and coconut oils all day long. You're going to drive yourself crazy. And with that said, you will probably quit. So don't use both. There's no, no need to use two tablespoons three times a day for both. Um, one or the other, which is going to work best? I've seen people lose dramatic amounts of weight using both. As long as you're using it seven days a week, try it for 30 days and um, let me know your results in the comment section below or email me at shanespiltalk at yahoo.com. Okay, so let me show you some fun ways that you can incorporate coconut oil into your daily eating routine uh, to help you lose weight. So you may ask yourself, uh, how can coconut oil, this stuff right here, help me lose weight? Since it's a saturated fat, well, it's a saturated fat that's different. It contains medium chain triglycerides. When you take it, your liver processes it immediately as energy. Um, so it's very good for the brain. It's also very good for metabolism. So using those two things, uh, you can have better thinking and you can help to manage your weight a little bit better. So um, with this said, using two tablespoons three times a day, Here's the difference between apple cider vinegar and coconut oil. Don't start off with two tablespoons three times a day of coconut oil. You can if you want, but make sure you have a bathroom handy because all that extra fat in your diet may send you straight onto the toilet. So some people will work their way up over a few days, but um, you're welcome to try it, but just... Uh, I'm just gonna let you know that you may have issues. Okay, so let's start off. And the first thing I did is I melted coconut oil. Now I did a video where I talked about melting your coconut oil in the microwave and everybody freaked out. Everybody went bananas about <clears throat> talking about microwaves and whether they're good, whether they're bad. So here's the other way to melt it. Boil up some water. Put your container in the boiled up water and it will kind of liquefy it. If it's summer, just having it on the counter in the pantry will melt the coconut oil and you can just have it kind of liquefied all the time. But if you don't care about microwaves, it's entirely up to you. Use the microwave. So the first thing we're going to do is when you first get up in the morning, I don't know if you've ever heard of something called bulletproof coffee, caveman coffee. Uh, it's basically coffee coconut oil and uh, grass-fed butter. We're not going to do the grass-fed butter, although you are welcome to do it. A lot of people will just mix coconut oil in with their coffee. Very simple to do. I'll show you how to do it. I don't have a blender here with me because it's way too loud, but I'll show you another way you can do it so you don't miss the blender. Get yourself some coffee, put it in a bowl. Okay, pretty simple, right? I like to add some vanilla stevia, which is delicious. Put a couple of drops of that in there. You don't need very much stevia, it's very sweet, okay? And then we are going to add two tablespoons, that's the big spoon if you're using uh, standard utensils. We will put one tablespoon. <clears throat> Two tablespoons, okay? Now, because it's liquid and fat, it has to be mixed up well. Just get yourself a little whisk, mix it up. It will turn very nice and thick. You will enjoy your coffee in the morning. Next thing you do, pour it in your cup. Make sure your coffee's nice and hot. And there you go. That's the first way to have your two tablespoons of coconut oil in the morning, right in your coffee. Mix it up, it'll be great. You will love it. Another time throughout the day, another small meal you can do um, is in oatmeal. A little bit of oatmeal, uh, usually maybe a, about a half a cup of oatmeal is good. 
I've already made some, okay? You can add some cinnamon to it. You can add whatever you want. You can add some stevia, flavored stevias. They make a whole bunch. And very simple, again, two more tablespoons of coconut oil. And because this is gonna be hot, it's gonna melt in right away. There you are. You have another meal with two tablespoons coconut oil. So you have coffee with coconut oil, you have a little bit of oatmeal with coconut oil. So um, do that, okay? So that's two ways to have two tablespoons. I got like, what, like three more little recipes here for you. Um, let's see what's next. Everybody does smoothies. Everybody loves whey protein, right? Whey protein right here. Grab yourself a scoop of whey protein. Chocolate or vanilla is best for this, although you can use any flavor. Put it in the water. Put it in the blender. Mix it up. Yes, add stevia. One drop. One drop of stevia in your protein. Then, of course, two tablespoons of coconut oil. Coconut oil that is in liquid form. Mixes up way better. There we are. Boom. We put it in a cup. And away you go. That's another way. You have protein, you have quick burning fat. It's great for you. Okay, so that's another one. The last one's my favorite, okay? Now, you can do it with one of two things. You can, hold on, what is this? Okay, this is a quarter cup. I'm going to take a half a cup of cottage cheese sometimes I'll add applesauce to this which makes it delicious or cinnamon and two tablespoons of coconut oil okay mix it up Boom, it's that easy. Just put your coconut oil in it. Now here's the thing, you can also use Greek yogurt. I've used a vanilla Greek yogurt for meal number two with coconut oil. Here's the delicious thing. If you put coconut oil, like liquid coconut oil in anything cold, it solidifies. So you get these little crunchy pieces of coconut, which are fantastic. So there you go, you have some recipes. If you have any recipes on how to use coconut oil also, leave them in the comments below because people want to know they're always looking for ways to incorporate uh, coconut oil in their diet. You can cook with it, although I always tell people don't count that as your two tablespoons three times a day. You can if you want. That's just personally my opinion though. Uh, but in your actual foods, put it in take it six tablespoons of coconut oil right there every day any questions leave them okay i'm going to put a link to the video on how to use apple cider vinegar for weight loss uh, that will be in the description below subscribe to this channel give it a thumbs up share it with people if you know anybody that wants to use coconut oil tell them about this video it'll help them out Okay, I'll see you in the next video. I'm Shane Charchas saying stay healthy and stay motivated. I'll see you later.